Hello, today we're going to talk about Research Rabbit and Sotero. I'm going to show you how I use these AI tools in my research. First, you need to go to Google and write Research Rabbit. So we click here and you can open an account and it, this is a free tool that can help you on, in your research. So let me log in and this is how Research Rabbit looks. So let's start by doing a new collection. In this collection, I'm going to talk about AI and research. So here I have my collection. Collection will mean it is a folder where you will put all the documents that you wanted to use for certain topic. In this case, it's going to be AI and research. So I'm going to, the theme that I'm going to use for this folder is going to be AI and research because I want papers related to this area. So I'm going to collect, uh, collect with me, I'm going to add these documents to my, to my folder. So here is a good document that can help in my research. If you keep scrolling down, you will find more uh, articles that are related to the topic. And there are many articles about the, this topic. However, I just only going to use uh, three articles. So when you complete adding to collection, you can just close, close and you can see here in this wall that you have the articles that you add to your collection. So the good thing is that you, uh, Research Rabbit is working with Sotero. So if you don't have Sotero or if you are not using Sotero for your citation or your reference, it is a good tool that you should uh, open an account. This is a free tool that can also help you on, on your research. So here is a Sotero website, you can download it. And let me show you, it is not too hard. So you can open an account and then download it and just follow the process that they, um, they tell you to do and you will have Sotero in your, in, in your computer. When you have this uh, tool in your computer, it will automatically connect to Sotero here, and you will have this option here that says Sync to Sotero. So let's just suppose that here, I these are the articles that I'm using, and let's just, if you click in the article, here you can see the summary. If you want to have access to the PDF, you can click here and you will have access to, to the PDF file. And here in my case, uh, it download the PDF file so I can click here and, and read the PDF file. However, if you, if you read this abstract and you say, oh, I really like this article, uh, Research Rabbit have, have this option that is about similar work. So it will show you all the work that it's similar to the article that you just have. So here in green, these are the documents that you have in your, in your collection. And here is showing you another uh, documents that are not that are not in your collection, but they are similar work. Another thing that you can have is that um, is that you here you can see all the references. It will be uh, the reference of all these um, articles and. And when you see um, these themes or kind of a groups, it means that they, they are like more similar compared to other groups. So I think Research Rabbit is a good tool that can help you in your literature review and trying to find these articles. So when you already find the articles, you have done your collection, 
let me just go to this you have done to collection so you click here to sing to sotero so here sotero is going to ask you how the folder uh what name are you going to put uh in the in the folder where all these files are going to be downloaded so i'm going to put ai and research and i will click ok here you can see that is uh, it's adding these articles to my sotero account so let me open it here so here i'm gonna have this ai let me refresh my so here i have the folder and i have the the files that i use so if you click here if you double click as i did you can have access to the document or to the pdf file so if you only click one time you can see the information here so now i have all these things um, in all this information in sotero and now i wanted to start writing so here you can start just um, i'm gonna say blah 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 and then uh, this information let's suppose it's about this author. so i'm gonna go here where it says add citation i'm gonna click here and a menu is going to appear So here uh, you're gonna write the name, the, it can be the last name. Let's just start with more. Here is giving me the article. So I will click enter and you will have the citation there. So let's just suppose that I finish with this uh, document. So I will put ref, references. I will click enter and then here I will click where it says add by bibliography and it will give me the two authors that I use on my document. So this is just a way um, of how I use ResearchRabbit and Sotero and how these two tools help me when I am writing some documents. So let's keep using AI in our research because it's helping us to save a lot of time.